Hi everyone, it's Robin. I got my Eye Break for Stamps Design Team package uh, several weeks back and I've been creating and playing with it but I've not yet shared them with you and I always like to do that so I wanted to just take this time to just let you know what I got and, and kind of explain you know a little bit about what the different sheets are. This one's called Collage Element Number 1. Such nice masculine images. I've, I've been wanting this for quite a while but I didn't see that it was in stock on the website so uh, I was really happy to, to be able to get that. This one is my favorite, I think. I don't know, it's hard because I really like a lot of them. This one is so nice. It's got the nice script in there, and then it has this, this romantic scene of this man and this lady in the boat, and then, of course, the timepiece there and just the writing instruments here. So really nice image. And then it has this mask, flourish, uh, compass, two more timepieces, and then of course I already mentioned this cute little car, and then the little uh, font is just so pretty. Wisdom, Joy, Spirit, Friends, Serenity, Hope, and Dream. So that's this one, it's IBF SRB01. I'll have the links to these all down below. Okay, and then this one, I have uh, I shared this the other day when I showed you my tri-shutter card that I did in the portrait style, and that's using these images here. Um, okay, so that is um, SB029, it's called Butterfly Kisses, sweet little feminine images. I think they're just so precious. Look at this little girl, little fairy, and she sweet? So I really, really love this. It's so pretty. And so, um, and then it has a sentiment there, the name of the, the stamp set, but it could be a sentiment as well. So really cute, and then the three butterflies. And then Della sent me this one. I think it's so cute. Uh, this one, uh, I actually made a card with that over the weekend. And it measures four, uh, from the lowest point to the tip of the ears, it measures about four and a quarter, four and a half. I uh, can't recall now, but we'll just say it was four and a half. So it's a good size, um, but, you know, still works out good for a card front. This card measures five by seven. And all I did, let me see if I can get in here without messing up the lighting. <laughs> Uh, I colored this in with my pro markers. I did a lot of paper piecing, and then um, you can see here just the different layers. These stars were fun to cut out. <laughs> no, I really do enjoy paper piecing. It's relaxing to me. And then I just went over the edges with a gel pen and added one of the vintage buttons that my husband just recently got for me, and then added some Wild Orchid Crafts flowers and uh, the skeleton leaf, the cotton lace, and. Uh, the pearls and so it just made a nice nice country uh, Christmas card and I'm not even a kitty person we have dogs but I just thought this was just the most adorable stamp so um, thank you again Della for sending this to me and then this one I used a poinsettia this similar but I used a poinsettia stamp last year well actually quite a few of them what I did and I'm going to be doing that with this one as well but gold embossed this and then use your re-inkers and like a water pen, water uh, brush, uh, aqua pen is what I used. And then fill in the different color with the variegated um, you know, darkness. Like this one I used red and then I added gold stickles to the center. And then, then I did this. You know, just the gold edging and the, the embossing really makes it pop. It's beautiful. The green and then um, just so, so pretty. So if you'd like to see what I mean, you can check back on my videos here or you could make it quick and just go to my website archive uh, in the right sidebar scroll down to archives and then it was it was uh like last november december ish that i that i posted a lot of that technique but um really really cute really nice and then this one um i love i love all of them i picked them out and Dell is so gracious to spoil us by sending you know sending in what we what we'd like to be playing with so uh, this one i love for autumn it's called cornstalk scene ea 482J and I recently made a card with that and this is what I did. I colored it in using my Letraset Pro Markers and I love the cornstalk and the, the pumpkins are a realistic shape. My gra This just reminds me of my grandma, you guys. Uh, she had an old, old lamp post out by the road, out in the country. She lived out in the country. And she always, in autumn time, would make a, an autumn little, uh, with the corn stalks and then, you know, the pumpkins and stuff down at the bottom. It has acorns and the Indian corn. 
super adorable. So, and then I just popped that up on Dimensionals. I uh, can't remember what paper this is, but the um, Harvest Gathering or something by DCWV. And then I just added another one of the buttons that my husband got for me with some linen thread here and then on the button. Added a rub on to the bottom. So that's this one, the cornstalk scene. And then this, I love this. You could use this for the card front even, just to make a quick, just emboss it on a piece of, of dark cardstock. How pretty would that be as a card front? Um, or you could even use it on the inside, but I like it on the outside. Um, I love that verse of scripture anyway. But it's called Perfect Peace, and it is EA262J. And then up here we have this these really feminine looking hats. And look at the detail in these. It is uh, the item number for this one is EA219HH. And I just think these are so pretty. And this one, I, I shared this with my, with you the other day when I shared my tri shutter card. These really nice sentiments. This is from the inspirational phrases. The item number is just D6. It has 28 different sentiments on there, and I am always looking for sentiments and, and just makes life so much easier. You don't have to think about what to say and, and you don't have to, you know, print it off. I do still print off some on my printer but or with my computer, but this just all the work's done for you and I really like it. So just a ton of different sentiments, and you can uh, read them. I know it's probably hard to read on the screen here, but you can see those by clicking on the link down below and get a better look at that. Another thing I'm super duper excited about, look at all this, this whole list of stuff. I got, I, I'd requested this, and I was so happy when Della sent it to me. It's the stamp booking CD, and it's put out by Technique Junkie Newsletter, as well as Jane Bossy, who is um, a fellow design team member for I Break for Stamps, along with me. And uh, so uh, these two ladies uh, combined a bunch of tutorials. And let me just read to you what it actually says on the website. And you can go over to the website to get a closer look at what's on the CD. But it says the stamp booking CD features a whopping 75 tutorials. Let me, excuse me, let me put these out here and you can have something to look at. Okay. So it says a whopping 75 tutorials for using rubber stamps to create titles, borders, frames, albums, embellishments, and so much more. 75 PDF tutorials on a CD works with Mac or Windows, and um, uh, each tutorial has at least two examples. It's all laid out step-by-step -step pictorial format, and each, each of the tutorials has at least two examples of layouts using the technique which, you know, 75 times 2 says with over 150 stamp booked pages on the CD, it's worth it just for the inspirational artwork. The CD tutorials are divided into six categories and they are as follows. Title techniques, it gives you 13 tutorials. Frame and map techniques, 11 tutorials. Border techniques, 12 tutorials. Embellishment techniques, I love that one. It has 18 tutorials. And then background tutorials, 15 of those. Albums, journaling, and other ideas. It gives you six tutorials. So I just, I mean, it's going to keep somebody in business for a long time, keep them busy. What I actually did, I went to the I Break for Stamps website and I copy pasted this onto just a Word document. And then what I did, I added bullets. So each time I do one of these techniques, I can just kind of uh, fill in the little circle, like you know, color it in. That way I make sure I try each of them out. I just think that would be a lot of fun and, and a good way to, to uh, just go right down the list or bounce around, whatever, I, whatever I'm in the mood for that day. So I'm really grateful that Della had sent that to me. Thank you so, so much. Uh, before I go, I want to invite you to head over to my blog. I'm having a giveaway. And I'm giving away a couple stamps, some flowers, and vintage buttons. And uh, so you don't have to be a subscriber. I'm not looking to build subscribers. But uh, a couple of the uh, things I'm giving away are these uh, I Break for Stamps images that are uh, for Halloween. There's a vampire costume bear and a witch costume bear. Our family doesn't celebrate Halloween, so I thought I'd pass these along to somebody who could, you know, who'd put them to good use. And I actually I mounted them for you onto the foam. And then I created these little cards for you and laminated it so it would make it nice and easy. You know, they, they, it stays right on there and you can just kind of peel it off and use it. I have the information on the back of the card here. And so um, this is what the image looks like. They're not to scale, but uh, like you can see, they're both a good size. 
So let me just invite you um, to come over to my website, take a look at the flowers that I have um, as well. I'm not going to uh, show everything right here because I think the video is a little bit long as it is. But uh, this is just a couple of the things I'm giving away. Like I said, you don't have to be a subscriber. I'm not looking to just get, you know, to get subscribers. But all the instructions will be over there on my blog. And the link to my blog will be right here, uh, popping up right now, as well as in the link down below in the info bar, I guess that's what it's called. So um, my, my giveaway starts now and will go through the 30th of September, which is this Friday at 10 p.m. I will um, do the drawing by random.org. So um, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And thank you for uh, just being a subscriber of mine already. And then also for all your kind comments. I truly appreciate each one of you. I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.